हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल स्पीडी डेंटिस्ट्री टूडे वील बी लर्निंग अबाउट पैरोटिडक्टमी पैरोटिडक्टमी इज बेसिकली द रिमूवल ऑफ द पैरोटिड ग्लैंड सो फॉर दी स्किन इंसेजन्स वी आर हैविंग द ऑप्शन फर्स्ट वन इज गुड टी रेस सेकेंड इज गिवन बाई रेडॉन एंड वैलियंट थर्ड इज एडसन एंड ऑट फोर्थ वन इज सामिंगो फिफ्थ इज ब्लेयर एंड सिक्स वन इज द मॉडिफाइड ब्लेयर विच वी आर करेंटली यूजिंग गुटी रेज इंसेजन स्टार्ट फ्रॉम द टेम्पोरल एक्सटेंशन इट इज हैविंग टेम्पोरल एक्सटेंशन द प्री ऑरिकुलर कॉम्पोनेंट एंड द लिम्प एक्सटेंडिंग अप टू द नेक दिस वन इज गुटी रेज नेक्स्ट कमिंग टू द रिडॉन एंड वैलियॉन सो बेसिकली दे गेव द प्री ऑरिकुलर एंड देन बिहाइंड द ईयर दैट इज रेट्रो ऑरिकुलर एंड देन मूविंग डाउनवर्ड एड्स एंड एंड ऑट इंसेजन इज ऑल्सो नोन एज वाई इंसेजन सो इट विल बी इन द शेप ऑफ वाई सामिंगो he gave the pre auricular extension and post auricular behind the auricle fifth one is the blair incision which is the one used commonly and it is also known as s shaped incision for this it is having a pre auricular component and extends to neck also it is having disadvantage of scar so s shaped incision with scar is blair incision and currently modified blair is used in which skin incision is given in the preauricular region coming next to the what will be the complications associated with parotidectomy for the nerve complication there will be facial nerve paralysis or paresis that is weakness or complete loss of the motor nerve and other complication associated with nerve can be Frey's syndrome. For the blood vessels, it can lead to hematoma formation, any injury, while parotidectomy. For the skin, there can be skin flap necrosis. Now coming to the salivary leak, the complication that is associated with parotidectomy can also be salivary leak, in which basically there can be persistent leak of saliva. or cellosil formation next what could be the surgical management so various modalities is present first one is the local excision so for the local excision that is done when the tumor is present at the tail of parotid and it is less than 3.5 cm in dimension next coming to the, the parotidectomy with preservation of facial nerve so to preserve the facial nerve while infiltrating we'll infiltrate it with saline along with adr rather than la with adr which we commonly use for bloodless wheel so in this we'll be using saline la will avoid to in order to avoid the facial nerve fibers loss of sensation next coming to the third option we are having is functional superficial parotidectomy so in this we'll remove the only superficial lobe and also the function will be protected that is we'll try to protect the duct next is partial superficial parotidectomy so for partial superficial parotidectomy we'll remove the partial superficial lobe that is to in partial dimensions fifth one is intraoral deep lobe tumor excision Sixth option is total parotidectomy with or without facial nerve preservation. Seven, eight, nine are parotidectomy with something additional. That is, mass plane for dissection. Dissection is used. Sixth, eighth is parotid parotid along with mandibulectomy or temporal along with parotidectomy. Ninth is parotidectomy with neck dissection. Thank you for patient listening.